What's up guys and welcome back to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. So today we're going to be continuing with the campaign mode in the tribal prehistoric era type thing. And then at the end of the video I've got something really awesome lined up, kind of to do with other YouTubers. So make sure to stick around for that. And also like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell and also join my Discord which you can find down in the description to this video. Because I'm actually looking to start playing some of the games with my fans. So make sure to join it and then you can be featured in some of my videos. So let's get started. What have we got? So this is called Tree Tribe, this level. And we've got loads of people in trees. So what have we got? We have got shield people, some cavemen club people. We've got some spear throwers. We've got some pothead stoner people. Are they, right, I'm guessing they're the chieftains. Okay, um, oh, and we've got some stone mages. Okay, so I guess we just place down some people and see how it goes. I'm thinking the best strategy might be to have some spear throwers. Take them out from a distance. I mean, I'm guessing they come off of the trees. They're not going to stay up there. So let's place down some spear throwers. How many should we have? Oh, not that many. Let's have those two rows, and then we'll also put down some shields, because then that way they can take the brunt of the hits from all of them, and also the stone mages, which do a lot of damage. So, I guess, let's go. I hate the fact that it starts the camera so far away. I just want to be in the action already, and have they died already? Okay, so some of them died falling out of the trees. We've now got our spear thrower people getting involved. We're kind of getting flanked a little bit though. Okay, I was hoping that the shields would die quicker than that. But they're not. Although, we're kind of doing quite well. Come on. Right, that's good. That's that shield guy down. Um, Who's left? Oh, I see. We've got some people over here. I didn't realise. Um, okay, he's stuck. He's got his arm wrapped around a tree and he can't actually move. So That was quite easy, actually. I wasn't expecting to win that one with those. I thought we might need to change up the strategy a bit, but we actually had quite a few left alive. Awesome. So, on to the next level. So, the next level is called All the Bones. And... Is this it? Oh, okay. That is a lot of stone mages and one of them standing in fire he shouldn't be alive and we've got some shields now i don't think we're going to be able to take all of them out with spear throwers to begin with so do you know what we haven't used the stoner yet maybe let's uh put in some stoners um let's put in a couple of spear throwers then we'll have some shields at the front. Put some club people behind. We've still got loads of points left as well. Okay. Um, should we put down some chieftains? Because I don't think we've used them either. Oh. Let's... Uh, oh, okay. We can't even that up, so we'll take that one out to even it. Um, I don't really know what else to put in. Do we put in some more spear throwers? Yeah, that'll do. And then we can have one more club caveman person thing right let's go let's slow it down a bit so i can get into a decent position because i kind of like being behind my army now we can continue let's go off to the side slightly oh they got wiped out okay them stone throwers aren't really that great they're gonna die yep they died and i think we're about to lose Yep, we lost. That was quite bad. So using loads of different types doesn't seem to be the way to go. Okay, let's try again. So let's just clear all of those out. Should we just go for loads of spear throwers? If we just dot them around with loads of gaps, then the stone mages shouldn't be able to take them all out. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go behind the enemy army this time. 
Uh, we're taking out a few of them. I do like the spear throwers. Especially when you have a big group of them. But I still don't think we're going to win it. They need to start throwing now if they want to. Nope. We've lost again because we've got one person left. And he's dead. So that didn't work either. Um, okay. Let's try a different plan. Two mammoths. We're just going to go with two mammoths. So I know I've got some more points to spend, but we're just going to see how they do. Let's go. Come on, mammoths. Good. We've split those up. Nice. This seems to be going quite well. There's a lot of screaming going on from the people. Who have we got left? These over here. They should be dead pretty soon. I don't even know who's left alive. No one. They look so adorable with those big eyes. Bless them. Nice. They won though. So, next level it is. Um, what just happened? They just fell over. I didn't even get to do my intro into this level yet. Anyway, the, the level's called Sitting Ball, so I'm guessing that's why they fell over. But I normally leave it a little bit before speaking, just to... Yeah, but they sort of just fell over, so I had to capture that moment. I don't really know what we're supposed to do about them. Should we just put down loads of these guys? Because I can't see it being that difficult. This one's going to be over too quickly. They're just sitting there. Is that, is that supposed to happen, or... I don't really know. I mean, they are just bundling on, and our people are dying. How are they killing them? Oh, I see. They are waving their weapon around slightly. And... Um, where are you going, mate? Excuse me. You're going the wrong way. No. No. Go the other way. You have, like, the worst turning circle ever if you're trying to get back there. Oh, we still got someone over there fighting. And he's now running away. I don't really know what's happening with them. Oh, okay, that guy got himself up. Uh-oh. You're dead, mate. You are so totally dead. Let's slow it down for it. Boom. Oh, right in the back. Okay, well, that's that one dead. And then this guy is still just running around. I can't work out what he's doing. They're so strange. I thought they were supposed to be attracted towards the enemy, not just run away. I thought... I don't... Yeah, he died. Okay, that didn't work. And they are... I don't know what they were doing. Okay. Um, should we go for old faithful spear throwers? I mean, the stone mage would probably wipe them out straight away. And so would the mammoth. Oh, we can't afford the mammoth anyway. So... Let's uh, put down spear throwers, just to prolong it a little bit, if we can. Um, did they all miss? Did Are you really missing that? What are they doing? Oh, one of them finally hit. There we go. Oh, okay, they actually took these ones out, like, straight away. I thought they were still alive and they were just focusing on these. Okay, that was over quite quickly anyway, but we won't go back and try it with the uh, Stone Mages because that would just be too easy. So, a new level then. Alright, so, we are on only dual wielders. So, I'm guessing they all have two weapons. Makes sense with the name. So, what have we got? We've got Chieftains and... Wait... You're not from this era. Why Why have you travelled back in time? Go back to your own time. Stupid little, what are they, Vikings? I think they are. So we don't actually know what they do yet. We know the Chieftains just run at you, but are they just stronger versions of the Chieftain? I, I mean, we don't know how the next lot of people act. We don't know who else is coming up. So, well, we'll just... I'll just assume that they're stronger versions. I mean, it makes sense. So let's put down some shields. Protect them. We'll go with our good old faithful spear throwers. And let's put down some club people as well. There we go. Whoa. What the hell was that? 
they just lunged themselves over the front line. Um, and we've got another person running away. Why? Really, mate? Really? You're just going to run? Are we still going to win? I think we might win still. Is this... Oh, there's one of theirs running away. Nice. I think we are going to win because that guy's just legging it. Come back and... Okay, don't come back and fight. You're dead. That's not going to work. Did we honestly just kill him by stabbing him in the hand? That is a sorry way to go, mate. I'm so sorry. Nice. Well, that's where we've got up to in the campaign mode. There's going to be more to come. I'm pretty sure that there are more prehistoric levels. So, yeah, now we're going to move on to the really awesome bit that I promised you. All right, guys. So this is the awesome bit that I'm going to be doing. And as you can see, I have reduced the graphics and everything completely down to the bottom that they can be, like the very lowest. So I'm pretty sure that tells you what's going to be coming up is it's going to be a hell of a lot of lag. Now, I've tried this already by doing a thousand versus a thousand and it crashed the game. So we're not quite going to do a thousand versus a thousand, but we're going to be doing 500 versus a few different things if we can and then 500 versus 500 so the 500 people we're going to be using are just the club people so basic simple ones and the other reason i said this was about other youtubers is because every single youtuber that seems to be uploading videos of this game are massively clickbaiting with it they really are that like they keep saying a thousand of this people ten thousand of this people and there's no way that they can do that. It lags out the computer way too much. It lags out the game and it just crashes. There is absolutely no way they can do it. And I don't like clickbaiters. I don't do it on my videos. And I don't think anyone should do it. I think it's wrong because it's cheating the fans, which is you guys. And we make videos to bring entertainment to you. So I try to avoid it. So yeah. We're going to be kind of doing a little bit of a myth buster type clickbaiter buster type thing today. So let's get started with it and start placing down the 500 people. And I'm going to speed up this bit because it takes a while to place them down. So see you in a bit. Right, so there we have it. That is 500 cavemen club people things. So 30,000 points worth. And as you can see, it's already slightly lagging the game out. So you could just imagine what 1,000 would do. So one of the ones that I have seen is 1,000 people versus a mammoth. So we're going to put in one mammoth. And we're going to see how it goes. I'm pretty sure we can all tell how it's going to go. That's a lot of people versus one mammoth. They're just going to annihilate it. So let's see if we're right. And let's get rid of this first clickbaiter. So we're going to click start. We're going to slow it down while I zoom in. Because of the lag. I mean it's still lagging even in slow motion. But if I let go you'll see how badly it lags with just 500 people versus one mammoth. And the mammoth died. That's how quickly it was over. So you can just imagine like... I mean, you don't even need all of these people. They did nothing. So imagine a thousand. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And I guarantee the clickbaiters, you know, like I've seen their videos. They didn't even attempt it. They just put in a few people versus a mammoth. So that kind of annoyed me. So another one that I've seen is another 1,000 people thing versus some of the other units. So we're going to check those out quickly. And that was, I believe it's this one, the Valkyrie. And it was 1,000 people versus a Valkyrie. So, because I'm so confident of the 500 people, let's try putting in five Valkyries. Let's just try it. I've not tried this yet. I've not even tried them against one Valkyrie. But let's face it, they're probably going to win. Let's go. And heavy lag again, so I've had to go into slow motion to show it. And if we let go, you can't really see much. So I'm going to have to keep it in slow motion so that it runs a little bit smoother. But we've already got 
some Valkyries dead. I can't really see who's alive, but they're kind of clumping around them. Oh, then Valkyries managed to take off and come back down. I think we've got two Valkyries left. And we've got no Valkyries left. So once again, no point in having a thousand people. The game can't handle it. And it's just too easy. Now, one that I was interested is because, as you might know from my name being Triton of Triton, Triton is the son of Poseidon in Greek mythology. And Poseidon is obviously the brother of Zeus. And in this game, you can get Zeus. So we're going to have good old Uncle Zeus versus 500 men. Because another one that I've seen is a thousand people versus Zeus. It's always a thousand people. I don't know if you've noticed that in these clickbaiters, but that's just how it is. So there's good old Uncle Zeus. Look at him. Bless him with his little lightning bolts. So, yeah, 500 people versus one Zeus. Let's go. Let's go into slow motion again, as we do, so we can uh, not have the lag. Oh, that is a brutal attack, though. Okay, this could be an interesting one. Let's let it go for a bit, show you the lag. Way too much, so we're going to slow it down again, unfortunately. I still don't see Zeus surviving 500 men, though. Especially if he's only going to attack a couple at a time. And he died. So once again, the 500 people won. I think we can see a bit of a pattern coming on now. So I'm not going to try another 500 p versus one person. What I'm going to do is put in another 500 people on the other side. So I'm going to speed that up quickly so we don't have to sit here watching me do it. So I'll see you in a second again. Right, so we have placed down our 500 red as well. So we have 500 blue cavemen versus 500 red cavemen. And as you can see, even with nothing happening, just moving around is lagging. Even placing down the people, it was lagging. So I'm expecting a lot of lag still. But it's kind of impressive still. Look how many there are. That is crazy. Look at all of them. That is just two full-on armies. So, I guess we get on with it. See how it goes. Let's start it. I'm going to put it into super slow motion immediately, just so I can move the camera down a bit. And then we'll take it out of super slow motion, because they're practically not moving in super slow motion. So, let's put the camera about there. And let's go. And that is a lot of lag. There is so much lag there that the sound is kind of struggling as well. So let's hold down just slow motion. Let's do that. And even that is just so much heavy lag. I didn't realise that had happened. I mean, when I did the 1,000 versus 1,000, I had a lot of lag. But I wasn't expecting it if I halved it. That is crazy. Look at them all. There are so many. I mean, I don't even know who's winning at the moment either. But as you can tell, from this amount of lag, I'm pretty sure you could pretty much tell that these other YouTubers are lying and clickbaiting. Which I think is terrible, and I don't see how they have fans, because that's just lying to the fans, and it's not right. So, let's see who wins. I mean... I'm guessing that's a lot of dead bodies in there, but I'm not sure. Let's let go of slow motion. And it is basically just frame by frame. Look at that. Just frame by frame. Are we going to get to an end, though? That's what I want to know. Will we actually see a winner? Or is it going to break, like, with the 1,000 versus 1,000? I mean, it's just a mashup now of red and blue. I don't know who's alive. I don't know who's dead. I have absolutely no idea. I mean, we've got a few people down the bottom. A few blues down the bottom that are still alive. But it's very slow. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip until the end of the fight. Because you guys don't need to see all this in frame by frame. 
So I'll see you at the end. Right, so it seems that the game has frozen. So we managed to crash the game again, but this time 500 versus 500. So just having 1,000 people in it crashes the game. So these people that are claiming that they've got like 10,000 people in it, there's absolutely no way that they can do that. Especially since they have their graphics set all the way up as well. I've got the lowest graphic settings and we managed to crash the game. So this is where I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and also join my Discord if you want to be featured in some of my videos. Fortnite, GTA, many other games. Peace out.